Hey Leo, welcome to my channel. Uh, welcome back to those of you who've been here before. I hope you guys are doing good. And uh, this is your singles reading for the month of March. Please take what resonates. Don't worry about the rest. The first part of this reading is going to be what's coming in, what you can expect. And this can also be for those of you who might not really be focused on love and single at the time, but we'll see what the cards bring out. Okay. We'll see what comes out for the single Leos out there. You guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for being here. Let's go. The single Leos. What's coming in? What single Leos expect? What do we have here? All right, so we've got the Queen of Swords, we've got the Knight of Cups, we've got the Emperor, and the Eight of Pentacles. All right, so uh, you guys can expect someone wanting to talk to you about taking you out on a date here. This is someone who's going to be really assertive. This is someone who's going to take control, plan things out, and get things as they need to be. This, this person is going to be really focused here at asking you out and wanting to take you out. Yeah, they're going to be really direct about wanting to hang out with you, wanting to get to know you. You know, will you go out with me? Yeah, this person is really going to go for it. So you have someone here that is really going to take charge here. Now, for those of you who aren't really focused on love at this time, you're more so focused on yourself. This is a time where you are really speaking up about the kind of offers that you want to have. This could be with uh, a boss or a, a, your job. This could be school. Uh, someone who has a little bit of authority here. I see that you're really focused here and trying to make things happen. Some of you might be working at uh, having a higher position, becoming a boss, getting that promotion, that offer that gives you a promotion into your work because you've been so focused, dedicated here, taking charge here, speaking up, being clear about uh, your work, decisions, what you have to offer here, okay? All right, now let's look at the person. This is for single Leo. Is the person coming towards them? What do we have here? Person coming towards Leo. Person coming towards Leo. All right. Let's see. All right. So we have the world. We have the two of swords. The high priestess. And the five of swords. Okay. So this is person who, this is someone who could be well-traveled, Leo, someone who likes to travel, likes to be on the go here. When you first meet this person, they might feel a little bit reserved. They might be a little quiet. They might be a little bit, you know, withdrawn here, not withdrawn to a sense to where you can't get to know them or like they're not interested in you, but just like their demeanor when they first meet someone or they're first getting to know someone. But it's strange because we also have the emperor here with the knight of cups. So I feel like when this person is really knowing that, okay, you're who I want, there is nothing. That's when they tap into that emperor energy. There is no stopping this person. This is someone who's very competitive, wants what they want, and will be determined to get what they want. They will say what they need to say, do what they need to do to make it work, to make it happen. This person doesn't fear competition. This does. This person doesn't fear if you're like, well, listen, I'm just dating. We can get to know each other. That's not going to stop this person. This When this person knows truly what they feel they want within, they are going for it. They're going to take charge here. They're going to make that choice to offer you a date, love, romance. 
traveling, going out and doing things. Let's get more about this person. More about this person for the Leos. Let's see what we have here. Okay, we have the Empress, we have the Magician, the Hermit, and the Lovers. Okay. You're going to find this person very attractive, Leo. You're going to know immediately like, wow, who is this person? I like this person. Look how beautiful they are. Yeah, you're going to be really attracted to this person. It's like they have this kind of energy to where it's like when you see them out you're going to think they're so beautiful but when you start to get to know them you're going to feel like there's this powerful energy about them like they're very talented they're very skilled they could be very skilled with how they speak what they say to you it, it allures you in it draws you in it makes you feel so attracted to them something about the way they speak or what they do is very attractive here okay now we also have the hermit here and the lovers so again, we have wanting to really get to the root of who this person is. I feel like this person is definitely going to want to take the time to get to know you here. They don't want to feel like there's things that they don't know. And I feel like you both are going to want to get uh, that information from each other to get to know each other, to make sure that you guys are on the same page when you choose to move forward in this connection. You guys have the lovers here. So again, strong connection, strong magnetic pull. The attraction is going to be there. The desire is going to be there. But it's like getting to that point, that, that cross point of taking the time to get to know this person and to figure out what's really underneath is going to really uh, push this 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 connection this magnetic uh, uh, attraction and connection forward yeah I feel like you guys are going to choose to be together it's going to be very mutual once you guys really take the time to truly learn about each other nothing is going to stop you from moving forward it's like you guys are going to create what you want to create here empress and the magician and very capable of doing it Mm. capable of making it happen okay let's see what brings you two together the single leos brings these two together let's see what we have All right, we have justice, we have queen of pentacles, strength here, and the three of wands. Okay, so what's going to bring you two together, Leo, is balance, making sure that you both are clear and direct, truth, being honest with each other about what is needed, about what is wanted. Keeping that scale balance is really important here, important to both of you, which is going to allow you to, to nurture this connection in moving forward. Magician energy, I'm telling you, you guys are going to have growth here and manifest what you want, both of you in this connection. Definitely uh, a strong connection between the two of you and wanting to bring balance into um, you both, you also have strength here, Leo. There you are. <laughs> so really having strength here in this connection, it's like you two aren't going to get caught up in, um, you know, the negative energy of being selfish, not speaking the truth. You guys are going to really have a good balance here at weighing things out together. And this is going to, again, cause this relationship to grow and reach new levels. It's going to continue to branch out, to expand here. I 
I feel like the two of you two have really been waiting for a connection like this, waiting for someone to come in who has the strength and knows what it takes to um, nurture a relationship to where it can have the growth and flourish here. Speaking truth and honesty, keeping a balance, which is so crucial in a relationship. It's like you and this person have waited and longed for this. And it's like when you guys get together, it's like the moment this, wow, like my person finally came. You know, I've waited so long for this and it feels so good, but it gives confidence. It gives this good feeling of together. We can accomplish anything together. We can make it through. We, as long as we stay honest, we stay balancing out what we need. We can nurture this connection stronger together. This is what's going to keep you two together, bring you two together. That understanding, the mutual understanding of what's important to grow this relationship, the love and care you guys are going to put into each other. It's very gentle. It's very sweet. It's very loving, but it has intent. It has a purpose of growing and, you know, it's like not staying still, branching out in this love together the right way, the honest way. Okay, so let's look at the potential. Let's dig more into this future connection for you. This is for the single Leos. All right. <clears throat> okay, so we have death here. We have the Wheel of Fortune. <clears throat> Three of Swords, Four of Swords. Okay. So Leos, this is the point when you meet this person. <clears throat> this is where your true transition is happening when it comes to love. If you've been with people who are very controlling, deceitful, lied a lot, you know, only cared about themselves. This is a time where that has ended. And now you are transitioning into, it's like the shift of love here, the shift of what is meant for you, what is being brought to you for a reason, for a purpose here. Seeing past the heartache and pain. This is the time of healing past this because that's the change. The change that's happening here, the transition you're coming out of is that broken heart, the pain and the loss. And it takes a lot of time. It's taken time to get to this point, but it's so important because when you are, uh, healed and you've taken that time to be alone, of being single, to focus your thoughts, to focus your intent here. This is when this person is coming in and it's in the works with this wheel of fortune here. So it's like moving forward past heartbreak. All right. Allowing what needs to end and what is happening now coming to you, it's going to happen. But healing that heart, that time you've taken Leo is what's most important here. And that's what is going to keep this relationship together, but also bring this person in. That rest, the healing, the time to yourself, right? The mourning, mourning, the going through that three of swords, that heartbreak, the pain, the loss. We have to go through that. But when we do go through that and we allow that healing to begin, that's when the universe brings in love and it brings in new beginnings with the endings you've had. Yeah, so this relationship is going to bring a positive change here, a positive transition from the ending that you've had, Leo. Healing from that heartbreak and that pain, focusing on you and feeling so much better. You're gonna have peace and calm when it comes to love, this love, this connection. Okay, let's get some oracle cards for you, Leo. Your single Leos. What do they need to know about this connection, this person coming towards them? What do they need to know?
emotions. Look deep within your emotions. For a lot of you, this time that you have while being single, just doing you, getting your mind right, focusing on the things you want to focus, but also having peace. Look deep within your emotions. Take this time to look at everything, to feel what you need to feel, to release what you need to release, to release this. Because you have a beautiful change that is coming to you, a change in love, but a good change. So, you know, reevaluate your emotions and everything that you have been through to focus on your positive new beginning here. That transition to positive new beginnings, Leo. All right. So... Get some physical features. Your person. We have green eyes. For Leo's person. Oh. Okay, we have average height. We have bald and green eyes. Anything else? That's it. All right. So. Leo, we're going to get some personality traits. This could be you and or your person. Oh, okay. So we have inflexible, judgmental, tactless, resistance to change. So this is warning, Leo, of not trying to resist the change, not trying to work against that will, but allowing what is going to happen, happen. Endings bring you new beginnings, but first there needs to be that transition. Allow it to happen. Allow the change to happen. That's when growth happens. That's when love comes in. Okay. For Leo. Anything else for Leo? Okay. Let's see here. We have reserved, intuitive, sincere, easygoing, possible interest of your person, cultural arts, books, environmental law, musical instruments, spirituality, socializing in small gatherings. Could be possible interest. We have dominant, romantically clueless, insensitive, dislikes confrontation. This could be you or your person. Okay. Let's see what else we have for, for Leo. The single Leo's. Goodness. The single Leo's. Hey, all right, so we have fleeting. Okay, so we have fleeting, we have soulmate, we have Aries here. And we have horse. Someone adaptable, loyal, courageous, ambitious, intelligent, energetic, adventurous, and strong. There's that emperor energy. That emperor energy coming in strong, Leo. This might be someone dominant as well. Aries. Yeah, you have Aries here. This could be your new person. All right. So let's see if we can get a timing card for you when this person will be coming towards you for Leo when their person's coming towards them. Timing for Leo. Next month. <laughs> so we have next month, you guys. Okay. All right, Leo, I'm going to close with a Whispers of Healing.
for the single Leos. What is their message of healing? What is their message of healing? Leo. Okay. Oh. So we have sincere relationships. Two people coming together in a positive shift. Focusing on each other's needs, wants, balancing the connection together, being friendly, being generous, being kind, knowing that there is sincerity out there for those who are open and willing to receive. Having a sincere relationship. It can happen. It does happen. Okay. Okay. So Leo, that is what I have for you. You guys hit that subscribe, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to comment. Thank you so much again for being here, you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.